Hello everyone, Archangel Waggio here, and today I'm with a very good friend of mine who just did very well at the uh, Greenville Regional, so why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us how you did. Hi, I'm Brandon Love. I got second place at the Greenville Regional um, playing Snake Eye Fire King, so here's the profile. Uh, uh, before we begin, do you have any shoutouts you'd like to give? Yeah, um, I'll be shouting out uh, Vince who helped me drive there, um, kept me going, like my uh, personal best friend. Um, Alex Julie for helping me test with this, and uh, all the friends in Raleigh and Underworld Cards and Games for being the best site to test at. Shout out to Underworld. Yep. All right. Um, all right, yeah. So uh, we played one Dia Bell Star. Um, it's a one card combo starter and an OTK enabler if you are uh, good enough to draw it going second. Um, of course, standard lineup of three Ash, two Poplar, one Oak, and then the flex spot is this 41st card, it's Birch. Um, very solid, I like the ratios, uh, Birch, I only ever saw it when I didn't need it, so it's just a style on my opponent and push for, uh, more game. More game. More game. We morphed on them. Uh, best card in the deck, uh, Flambridge Dragon, it speaks for itself. Um, it's a combo enabler, it's an extender, it's interruption, everything you ever want in your life. Um, the Fire King package is also very standard, so one Arvada, one Ponyx, uh, two Kirin and one Garunix. Um, very good. This card's my best friend. It always shows up in twos in my hand and helps me break the board going uh, second, losing die roll. So, checks who would have thought? Alright, and now for the uh, infinite non engine time. Yeah, yeah, our hand trap lineup of uh, the format tax of uh, bracket <laughs> of our uh, tax bracket uh, three <laughs> Ash, uh, three Veilers, three copies of Nib. And a singular drill, don't ask where the other two are. Um, while I was building the list, uh, I forgot. So, skill issue, I guess. I did see it versus Voiceless, and it just stopped their turn, and it was really funny. That is Poor really guy. Funny. This is a budget list, it's just out of your budget. That is true. I'm a budget <laughs> player by heart. Uh, triple Bonfire, um, one card starter, extender. It makes the deck work. Triple Wanted, and of course, I'll see you later when you after you get banned, but Original Sinful, um, best card in the deck. Checks out, checks out. It links the two <laughs> engines together. I did play Circle's Sanctuary in addition to the island. Um, I don't think Circle came up a single time, but there are plenty of, uh, there are plenty of opportunities where it would have been very good. Um, so nothing too crazy with that one. Uh, these always got sighted out games two and three, so they just add flex spots to the deck. Just helps with setting patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, double talents. I don't own three starlights, so I'm not playing three. Um, this card was the OTK enabler. It baited out all the uh, Skull Guardians. It ripped my opponent's hands apart. Um, gave perfect knowledge for OTKs, everything you ever wanted in your life. Uh, best card in the game. Uh, one for one, and called by were my two other uh, flexible spots. Um, one for one's just fantastic. Called by came up a couple times. Uh, also a very easy side out target. Uh, and then triple imperm to round out your hand trap lineup. All right, very makes easy. sense. Uh, is there anything you change about the main deck going forward? Uh, main deck seems very fine. Like I haven't changed it at all in the past uh, couple weeks. So um, yeah, no, it, it functions very nicely. I think there's a very good synergy and very good ratios. I always seem to draw Ash and four hand traps as I just did. Math makes circular time. Yeah, actually factually. Uh, in terms of the extra deck, of course, you have the one Link Karibo. Um, you have your standard lineup. It's a very standard deck. Oops. Surely this Snake Eye Fire King deck profile will be unique, right, chat? No. <laughs> uh, there's double princesses, as per usual. Uh, Little Knight, and, uh, Mascarena. I did go with the Heat Soul um, line, as well as uh, that. We have the OTK lineup. We have, I was on um, Amblo Whale, Appaloosa, of course. You have your two Charmers, and you're one of um, Typhon. It literally never came up, it was just there for insurance. It's the Manadium tax? Pretty much. I didn't see any Manadium, so. They're not a real deck, it can't hurt me. True. And then, I guess, lastly, is the side deck. Yeah, in terms of the side, um, one of Duster. 
Uh, we did get to the legendary Duster for five uh, versus a poor Snake Eye player, or a, no, it was a Voiceless Voice player. Um, so that was, the card's insane, it's a blowout. You should win if you resolve it. Um, double Bell for other matchups, like Snake Eye, hit the Flambridge Dragon off Nib, and then you win the game. Uh, triple Summon Limit, it's the turn skip. Um, there was one opportunity where I did activate it, and then my opponent had a Talents for my Zelantis, and if he took it, uh, I would have lost the game right there, because uh, he would just Zelantis, and then I'd lose. But he didn't, so thank God. Um, triple Cross Out for going first. Uh, very good, flexible card. Um, it did stop some hand traps and allow me to play through, uh, and then it also active or if your opponent uses a monster, of course, they activate uh, talents, and then you can just play through, and they start with two, four cards for their going first. Yeah, this card is, card is ridiculous. Span cross out. Yeah. Wait, no. Uh, Cosmic, it literally didn't do anything this tournament. Um, the one times it would have mattered, it I didn't have enough to push through uh, to hit their Mascarena before they could start comboing on my turn. Um, Overall, I think I, this is one of the cards I'm going to be taking out in the future. Uh, and then lastly, uh, Dogwood. The Dogwood play, Shoutouts Dad. Um, it, I never cited this in. We never got to the point where I went into time uh, all nine rounds. Um, in local, like in, in YCSs and above, maybe. But in locals, it's it's not worth it. You don't want to. You don't want that bad blood in your locals. So checks out. These six are the cards I will be uh, changing out in the future. Uh, regardless, that's about it. Theory has it that if you play a twelve card side deck, the last three will never come up. True. Fifteen card side decks is a crutch. Exactly. All right. Uh, any other shout outs or anything you'd like to say before we head out? Uh, no, that's about it. Uh, shout out Dad for the dogwood play. Uh, it never came up. You know who you are. All right. Well, congratulations again. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.